Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a bit of a chatty video. <laughs> I am going to do my low buy check-in for the month of May and I'm not gonna show you products because nothing has reached me yet or rather only one of the orders that I made in uh, May reached me and um, I still wanted to talk about um, the low buy and how I'm feeling about it and how, how I'm going about it without attaching the haul to it because I bought a lot this month and um, I want to do a haul separately when all the products reach me but the money was spent now and I usually try to keep my um, like I I log my the money spent when the products reach me so if I do a long um, order with something for example from overseas that takes weeks I'll put it in the month where I receive it however this month I just spent a lot of money um, so I wanted to reflect on it and talk about it and discuss why and uh, let's say yeah, just elaborate on it a little bit so I have my excel sheet in hand with the money that I spend and how I track both my uh, purchases, my empties and uh, products or like money coming in from makeup and beauty. This can be either affiliate payments or um, products I sell from my declutters, things like that. And um, just looking at it, this month I spent 220 euros in beauty products. That um, is a lot. If you think that my budget is 2,000 euros for the year, this is over 10%, which means it's over the monthly budget that I have. And the main culprit for this big expense is actually the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Um, I did a Duping the Vibes palette for that one, and I also spoiled in one of my recent videos that I bought it. And especially with that duping the vibes I realized how much I just can't stop thinking of that damn palette <laughs> and I was um, talking about it with uh, my friend Mariam uh, who's also here on YouTube and she's a big advocate of like treating yourself and uh, making very um, thoughtful purchases but not worrying about how much that costs but worrying more about how unique it is and how much you want it and just being mindful of what you purchase and what you want and not being impulsive and I don't know and she was like Alice you've been talking about this palette for years now <laughs> um, everybody loves it you know it's a good quality palette you know you want it you have recreated the color story I know I would like to use it and I'm, I'm really attracted to it so why not just buy the palette and at the same time Sephora Italy had a 20% off code that would be applied that could apply to the Natasha Denona palette so from what I would have to pay to get it here um, in the Netherlands which is around 130 euros I purchased it for 90 from Sephora Italy and I had it delivered at my friend Julia's house who's then gonna just ship me a bunch of stuff that I ordered from Sephora Italy and overall that cost is less than having it shipped here and I can't wait to get my hands on it but that is a little bit I had a treat yourself moment and I feel like that happened because I was doing so well with makeup purchases I was buying less um, I wasn't doing well with like mindfulness um, we've discussed a little bit already the Nabla cutie palette uh, um, thing where I actually bought the wild berry just for completionist reasons and I really didn't need it and I actually already sold it um, so I felt like I, I don't know I felt like I could do it so with the 20% off I did it I also know that it's not gonna I'm not gonna find it for cheaper than that I shouldn't just hold off for another sale because there might be in the future maybe in November with uh, Black Friday a 30% off sale but this was pretty much as good as it was gonna get for the foreseeable future 
And I'm actually very excited. I don't know how, I like, I feel extremely guilty for spending so much money on a palette. But then again, Metropolis is one of my favorite things now to use. I love the colors, the textures. So I'm really excited for the gold palette. And that was the biggest purchase this month. The other purchases were brushes, which I really didn't need more brushes, but I'm very happy with the, my purchase. I showed you them in the Get Ready With Me and we talked about it a little bit. I'm liking them. I've been trying them uh, a little bit and I'm liking them. I wanna see how they last a little bit in time and washing and things like that before I do a review or I talk about it in a favorites. I think this is very premature, but I'm happy with the purchase. It was a good purchase and yeah, a big order from Sephora and um, I made an order with Tami Tanuka, um, this indie Russian brand that sells um, little pots like this of loose pigments that are so unique and beautiful. I press mine and they're some of my favorites. You've seen me rave about them. Um, they're all quite special shades and these are the pressed ones. Um, I really like them. I've been using them a lot lately and um, especially again after that duping the vibes of the gold palette, seeing how much of those shades I was putting in, I was just so happy and I felt like I was justified in purchasing more special shades from that shop rather than buying from, for example, Cleona Cosmetics or Divina Cosmetics, which are indie brands from um, the US or Canada, uh, North America then, <laughs> I would say, that are quite expensive to get here. So the shipping is expensive, the uh, customs are expensive, and I am okay with pressing my own shadows. So it was cheaper for me to buy from Tami Tanuka rather than uh, the North American Indies. I, I think I might still do an order from uh, Divina Cosmetics at some point. There's a lot of the new uh, special shades they're putting out that I'm really interested in. But for now, I'm happy with this. And I feel like 220 euros were well spent. Now, justifying it even more, a little bit towards myself, um, my affiliate income has been um, good. My videos have been doing well. So I uh, make around 30 euros a month in uh, YouTube um, income, which, hey, it's not an income. This is my hobby and it's not why I do it, uh, but it helps with if I want to treat myself to something, um, and I get one YouTube payment, that money is available to me. And uh, the money that I uh, receive from affiliate links or YouTube uh, doesn't really affect my budget. So it doesn't mean that I have more budget. The budget stays the same 2000 euros for the year, but it's, it means that I have, like I spend less of my money and I can put more towards other things. So I bought a nice pair of shoes that I wouldn't have normally because uh, they're a bit more expensive and I wanted something nice for summer and I bought that and I did that from my beauty budget because I had income from other sources. Plus this month I um, did declutter quite a few things. Uh, you've seen my single eyeshadow declutter and I've discussed a little bit how I decluttered indeed the Wild Berry palette from Nabla. And I also decluttered my um, Natasha Denona Cranberry palette that I had bought second hand and I was really happy, but I realized it was just, I don't know, I was just excited to get my hands on a Natasha Denona palette at the time. And I tried it and I like the quality, but it's not colors that I was reaching for. And, um, among the things that are waiting in my Italian package is also the Nabla Cosmetics Cutie Coral Palette that I bought back in January that has been sitting at Julia's place because uh, I was supposed to go there and uh, now she's just waiting to be able to send me my package. Um, and I felt like that was a double, the shades were very similar, so I decluttered that one as well. I decluttered a bunch of singles and via my Instagram, I've been selling these things that um, that are in good condition. And yeah, so that income has also come in, which made me feel like I had the 90 euros to spend on the gold palette. And I was, and I, that, I think that was the only thing that made me go over budget. The other orders were okay. Um, you'll see what I'll get 
um, when uh, my Italian package gets to me and if and ever my Russian package gets to me because that's the things I'm, I'm waiting on um, but yeah I think I think it was a expensive month but I also got money back and uh, it's okay I had the budget to do so I'm still in my budget it looks if I look on the last five months and I divide my budget for it, I'm still very much on track to uh, be spending less than 2,000 euros for the year. So, uh, yeah, it's difficult also to be able to let go of the fact that, oh my God, I shouldn't be spending and sometimes being like, okay, I will. One of the things um, is that, for example, I've been buying a lot of houseplants, but that doesn't go for my beauty budget. Um, it's, it's been, I don't know, kind of my way of coping with a lot of personal stuff. I've just been buying things that need love and I can put my love into. I don't know. It's just, it's just um, you've seen maybe on my Instagram how much I love my houseplants, how I'm moving them around or um, yeah, just looking at them. And I, I now have a little corner where we had a, um, I don't know, ottoman, a poof on the, in the living room. Now I took that out and need to bring it in the attic. We never used it anyways. And now there's plant stands there and I can put all my plants in there. And yes, I've been doing a little bit of retail therapy, that for sure. Uh, but instead of buying a lot of makeup, now I'm buying house plants, which are alive and also give me a lot of joy. Is it one addiction for the other? Maybe, um, but I feel like, I don't know, Houseplants make my house on a daily basic more on a daily basis more joyful, and my husband's enjoy them as well. So it's 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 better put than more eyeshadows. <laughs> let's say let's say that, and they're alive, and they don't expire, and yeah, I don't know. It's just things that I care for, um, and I can put my love into every day. So I don't know. I feel like it's a different addiction. Houseplants to other things. But uh, that is a little bit of a short check-in from me. I just wanted to talk about it because otherwise it would have been by itself another 10 minutes of intro to a whole video. Plus, um, I am really excited about the things that I bought, but I wanted to make this a little bit of a more serious reflective moment, reflection moment, reflective moment. And yeah, how are you guys doing? How is your low buy? Um, what do you think of what I do? I'm, of my reasoning, I'm always open to talking about these things because everybody has different low buys, different points of views and um, yeah, I, th I feel like I'm in a good place where I'm not just buying everything that I see and I'm not just buying by impulse. Um, there's a lot on my wish list but that I don't think are realistic purchases for me. So maybe I could do a video like that discussing the things that are on my list wish list and why I will not be buying them. Uh, or why I will be buying them. Is that a wish list if you know you're not gonna buy something? I don't know, could be. But let me know if that is something that would interest you. Let me know how your low buy or no buys are going. Let me know how you're doing. Always interested in hearing that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.